Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Joseph. And welcome to Windows and Reviews for August 17th, 2009. We have a Jubilee of stories for you today. We're going to talk about death and destruction, aka modern warfare on Wii. We're also going to talk about the Wii's brand new inflatable saddle. And Wii exclusive Super <laughs> Star Wars downloadable content. Wii accessories. What? Nintendo has recently filed a patent for a brand new type of peripheral, the Wii Horseback Riding Saddle. The inflatable seat will measure the bounce of the user and apply it to the natural up and down motion of riding a horse, camel, bull, elephant, or even a dolphin, all of which the company mentions as possibilities in its patent. <laughs> News. The Consumer Product Safety Commission has recalled two charging stations designed for Nintendo's Wii Remotes. The Cyclone Essentials Kit and the React Kit, which were both sold at Target, Best Buy, Amazon.com, and Toys R Us through June 2008 through July 2009. It is said that these products cause overheating of the batteries and cause burning in hands. So if you do not enjoy burning in your hands, then you will not enjoy this product. And you probably shouldn't buy it then. Because it was made in China. News and Reviews You may recall that several weeks ago, Wii News and Reviews broke the exclusive story that Nintendo would allow you to store your virtual console and WiiWare games on an SD card, but the stipulation being that you would have to transfer it back to internal memory to be able to play those games. However, Nintendo says, you know what, we're going to be manly about this, and we're going to allow you to stream directly from the SD cards. The Super Star Wars Trilogy for the SNES will be making its way to Virtual Console in the upcoming weeks. Super Star Wars is already available, while Super Return of the Jedi and Super Empire Strikes Back will be available shortly. Each game will retail for 800 Wii points, or about $8 or about 721 pubes. Upcoming games! Call of Duty Modern Warfare is coming to Wii. It is a port of the original title that was released on PS3, 360, and PC. The game will be ported over by the developers of World of War, Treyarch. It is set to be released on the same day as Modern Warfare 2 is on the other consoles, and it has not been announced to have any special features, but we'll be sure to keep you updated if any new information arrives. News and Reviews Do you enjoy killing big, rabid beasts? Well, you'll soon get the chance. Monster Hunter 3 is set for release in North America sometime in 2010. Monster Hunter 3 depicts an ecosystem where man coexists with fantastic beasts that roam both the land and the sea. Featuring both online and offline cooperative modes, players can join online hunting parties with up to four players or play with two players on a single television for select quests. Players also have the option to face Monster Hunter 3's quests as a single player experience accompanied by Cha-Cha, an AI hunting partner whose tracking and trapping skills will prove invaluable in the hunt. Because the AI's a retard. And you should probably kill him. Fan mail. Pulling out some fan mail this week, Kitson Ranger said, I think you're like the Bill O'Reilly of We News, parentheses, in a good way, close parentheses, and I definitely enjoyed your show. I mean, no spin zone? News and Reviews. Thanks for watching this episode of We News and Reviews. Remember, and I'm not gonna name names, but someone in the audience tonight owes me $180, and if he or she would like to pay that back, that would be great. Thanks, and have a great day. And buy a new iPod when it comes out in September.
Call of Duty Modern Warfare is coming to Wii. In support of the original game, released on the PS3, 360, and the PC, and it'll probably be pretty f tits.